Hello, in this video, you will learn line drawing algorithm. As we discussed before about point, you know, we have two attributes for point that is its color and its size. So we can specify a point with an ordered pair of number x and y. Here, as you can see, this is the point. We can specify any point with an ordered pair number x and y. Here, x is the, you can see, this is for x and this is for y. x is the horizontal distance from the origin. This is the origin. And y is the vertical. This is the vertical distance from the origin. And this is the position of the point. You can see here in this coordinate system. So suppose we have a point 2, 2. So how we will represent this? Using this. This is the, this is for y and this is for x. And this is the position of this point. So we can specify any point with an ordered pair of numbers. Now we have line. So for line, we, have, we need two points. And suppose we have two endpoints, x1, y1, and x2, y2. We are using two endpoints to specify line position at this plane. So we have for y, you can see in the vertical line, in the horizontal line for x, we have different. So for first point is x1, y1. You can see the position of first point, x1, y1. Then we have x2 y2 so you can see here using two endpoints we can specify the line position at this plane now you know the equation for the straight line is y is equal to mc plus v where m is the slope of the line and v as y intercept so we have first endpoint is x1 y1 and the second endpoint of the line is x2, y2. And we can calculate the value for m, that is the slope of the line, and value for b using these two equations, where slope of the line can be calculated by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And we can calculate b by y1 minus m into x1. So for any given x interval data x longer line, we can compute the corresponding y interval as delta y that is m into delta x and we can obtain x interval y delta x is equal to delta y divided by m. This is the DDA algorithm that is the drawing algorithm. Here in the first step is we will input two endpoints and after that in the second step we will calculate the difference between two endpoints here i'm denoting delta x y dx and delta y y dy when you will calculate the difference between the two endpoints then we will identify the number of steps required to put the pixel if the value of dx is greater than dy then we need to add more step in x coordinate else we need to add more steps in the y coordinates so in the fourth step we will increment the x and y coordinates after that we will put the pixel y incrementing x and y coordinates then we will complete the line for example here you can see DDA algorithm to draw a line from 0, 0 to 6, 6. So we have x0, y0, x1, y1. So for this we have coordinates. You can see for the values for x0, y0, x1, y1 and we have these two values. You can see this is the you can when you will connect these points you can generate a straight lines so by performing all these steps what we can do we can generate a new line so for example here as in the first step what we were doing 
we need to implement the algorithm for from point 0, 0, 002 so we need to draw a line from 0, 0, 002 to 66 so for this first step is we have given point that is 00, 0 and 66 6. so in the second step we will calculate dx and dx is x2 minus x1 and dy is y2 minus y1 so here the value of x1 is x2 value of x2 is 6 minus x1 is 0 this is x1 this is x2 this is y1 and this is y2 value of y2 is 6 minus 0 you will obtain 6 here and 6 here next step is we will check the value after that we will identify the number of steps required to put the pixels we will check this condition then we will calculate the x and y coordinates then we will put the values here to draw the complete line in the next video we will see this numerically how this algorithm works how we can put the each pixels one by one so we will do this in the next video how this algorithm is generating the number of pixels and how this is working how we are calculating the values for this that is we are using here so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and i provided a link below in the description box for the dda algorithm you can check in the description box